righteousness gives us boldness in God's presence. You're going to like this one. Give us boldness. This past week, very interesting, you know. Uh, I met a few people and they, they, were, uh, they were once in our church, but they have moved on in a good way, either immigrated or worked overseas or something. I met a few people and they say, you know what, Pastor Kong, let me tell you this. Everywhere I went, the moment I step into a church, I open my mouth, I start serving, people come to me and say, are you from City Harvest? You got to, because City Harvest people, we carry something. There's a certain confidence and boldness that we have. But it's not enough. Because God wants to take us further. Okay, let's define righteousness again, right? The best definition of righteousness. Righteousness, I told you this before Christmas. Righteousness is the ability to stand in the presence of God without guilt, condemnation, or inferiority. Righteousness is the ability to stand in the presence of God without guilt, without condemnation, or inferiority. Why is righteousness the ability to stand in the presence of God without guilt, with no condemnation, and no inferiority? So 1 John chapter 3 and verse 21, it says, Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence toward God. So if there's no condemnation, we have confidence toward God. And whatever we ask, we receive from Him. Because we keep His commandments and do those things that are pleasing in His sight. Now one reason why so many of us, so many Christians, we keep on missing the blessings of God, the healing, the prosperity, the deliverance or whatever. Most of the time it's because we struggle with guilt and condemnation. Who am I to ask anything from God? Who am I? I'm a nobody. I'm just a worm. I'm not, I'm not worthy. I failed so many times. I can't ask God for this. I'm not good enough to receive God's abundance or blessing or miracles. So we stay at a distance from the throne. We did not, now look, we did not come boldly, but we stay at a distance like Adam and Eve in the garden after the fall. God walked in. They were in hiding. Condemnation, guilt, inferiority. And even we come into His presence, even in a service like this, we are afraid to ask for healing. We are afraid to ask for deliverance. We are afraid to ask for blessing, for provision. Who am I? Who am I? Now this is critical here. This is critical because God cannot bless us without us asking. You see, this is how God works. He says, you receive not because, come on, talk to me, you ask not. But if we are struggling with condemnation and fear, how, dare, how could we ask by faith? How are we going to pray for provision and total deliverance? 2013, how are we going to pray that the money will come, that we'll be totally delivered if we feel guilty as a church? <gasps> Maybe we did something wrong. <gasps> then we don't deserve a miracle. You know, maybe God has rejected the leadership. How are we going to ask? If we feel guilty. It is righteousness that is, gives us tremendous bonus and confidence in the presence of God. 